doing a quick session of reviews on sleep systems and this little thing is my pillow that I use um, when I go camping in the van, when I go backpacking, I used this uh, last year for a two week uh, van life type camping trip up in the uh, Hebrides. I also used it, uh, more importantly, backpacking across Scotland last year when I walked the Great Glen Way. Uh, it's the, as I said, it's the Sea to Summit Eros Pillow Premium Large. Packs down to just a bit bigger than a tennis ball. Um, what I really liked about this one, it comes in this neat little stuff sack. Uh, just put it out of there. And when you get it out, it's got a really nice micro fiber uh, liner or, or, or outer you've got a, a valve here that allows you to blow in through one you can deflate by taking the larger section out but the clever thing about this valve is there's a little button here which allows you to adjust the pressure in the pillow so I'll just blow it up for you we go. Now, I said about adjusting the pressure, and let it down there. I tend to blow it up quite hard because I'm a side sleeper. So there we go. This pillow, as I say, is, is a good 12 months old, it's showing no real signs of wear and tear. Um, I look after my kit extremely well, but uh, nevertheless, you know, it has been used quite extensively. Uh, and I'd wholeheartedly recommend it. Now what I tend to do is actually fold the fleece up underneath it so it's a little bit higher and then it tucks right into my shoulder and I get a decent night's sleep. Very very pleased with it. Um, there's a lot of pillows on the market um, like the Trekology Aleph 2, slightly more technologically advanced and a lot cheaper and this pillow I think runs in 25 30 pounds but again uh, as I've said with the sleeping system the, the special forces uh, sleeping bag uh, video you you're looking at the cost for a good night's sleep and a good night's sleep is absolutely essential when you're on the trail uh, I've never had a problem with this at all uh, and uh, I'd wholeheartedly recommend it it's a very short review this one because what more can you say uh, it is a, a big air bladder uh, but it's nice and soft, uh, you can adjust it to how you want it, and uh, I, I've got not a single bad thing to say about it. I'll just deflate it, simple as that, squidge it up, get all the air out, close the valve, and literally hold the stuff sack and push it in with your thumbs. Um, one of my pet peeves with, with gear is when the stuff sack supplied for it isn't quite big enough and uh, this one's absolutely ideal. So uh, there we go. There you go, all packed away. There's instructions for use on the back of the stuff sack and uh, I, as I say this is an absolutely rock solid piece of equipment. I wouldn't uh, go on a camping trip without it. Thank you very much for your time and keep your eyes peeled from the clip we